Welcome to this week's episode of Your Stock Request for the 27th of June. Hi, I'm Michael Gable, Managing Director of Fairmont Equities. Your Stock Request is a weekly video where I take your requests and analyze the share price charts. So this week we have Saracen, EOS, Telstra, Afterpay, and NXS. So if you have a request, send it through to me. Make sure you share this video on social media. Make sure you have signed up to our free newsletter. And just remember, any advice here is general only. So starting off with Saracen, in terms of the, uh, the gold price itself, um, a recent break uh, through the mid-1300s for gold um, implies further upside from here. I think there's at least 10% upside um, until we hit some resistance. So you need to have some sort of gold exposure. I've got all my clients uh, with some gold exposure. In terms of Saracen, um, it's obviously been doing really well. Uh, one thing to note is you know, initially it did fail at that February peak and started to come off. Um, but then with the breakthrough in the gold price, uh, it's also broken through. So nothing really wrong with the way it's trading, good volumes coming in. Um, essentially, this should follow the gold price higher. So I think any dips are a buying opportunity for Saracen. Um, now with EOS, um, this is one I looked at a few weeks ago in our Tuesday report, the Dynamic Investor. Make sure you've uh, signed up to that one as well if you don't already receive it. Now in terms of this chart, it's looking very positive. Obviously yesterday was a very nice day up um, on good volume. So it looks like this consolidation here is over. Um, it's broken free of that, should continue higher. Um, longer term, uh, the longer term chart uh, gives you more of a picture as to what it can do. So basically we have this, um, this is why I reported on a few weeks ago, I noticed we had this um, you know, almost two year consolidation that the shares broke out of um, on good volume. So um, in terms of how high this can go, I think this thing will you know, have a multi-month uh, rally from here. So I think you can get some substantial upside because it was in such a long-term consolidation. Okay, moving on to Telstra. Um, I mean, when you have a look at the daily chart, you can see it's covered quite a bit of ground since the beginning of the year, you know, surprisingly. Um, if we move to the weekly, um, at the moment it's, you know, I guess there's no obvious resistance where it is at the moment. Um, if, I, if I measure the decline that occurred for the previous few years, you'll see that hasn't even reached the 38.2% retracement level. So you know, if Telstra continues on from here, you'd be targeting this level, which is around $4.15. Uh, if I put a horizontal line there, I'll just get rid of the, just get rid of the uh, Fibonacci tool. So you can see that um, at that level, uh, there's, al there's also been a couple of turning points previously. So that would be obvious resistance around 4.15. Um, so potentially further upside, but short term, if we move back to the daily chart, you can see it's just consolidating. So you've got this sort of little rectangle here. Um, we need to see which way it breaks. It could break downwards, um, but I think if it sort of breaks higher, then you'd be looking at 4.15 as the next target. Okay, afterpay, always a popular one. Now, it's looking good again. This is one that... Um, for my portfolio clients, we sent a we sent a trade alert out last uh, last Friday morning on this one, um, so we can see the nice sort of rally off the lows there, good volume. Um, you know, basically, this you know basically this consolidation is is over um, with the shares breaking higher. So essentially, I think this should just continue on to a new high for the moment. Now NXS, um, as we could see, it's a fairly new listing, so not much to go off. But what I can tell you, or what I have noticed is, you know, any sort of pullbacks so far have been fairly flat, um, and the volume has been lower as well. So we could see here it had a nice sort of move up. Here's the volume, it sort of consolidated that volume dried up, picks pick up in volume again. Uh, and I know I mention this a lot of times in my videos, just looking at the impulsive moves up on volume, corrective moves down, lower volume. Um, but it's just a classic way to uh, determine the strength of a move. So this one still looks strong. 
Uh, no warning signs yet. Um, from what I could see here, it should just continue higher for the time being. All right, well, that's it for this week. Um, if you have a request, send it through uh, and make sure you've signed up to the free newsletter.